how to reduce visual clutter. Simplest way is by having less. For sure, it's easier to clean the surfaces with nothing on them. But it's not like the way it goes in the real life. We still have right to possess various things. On the other hand, even the greatest ones splashed all over the places, making not the best statement. Therefore, we have to give them a permanent address in our home, which has to accomplish two missions. To be easy for reached out and to rest the eye. Let me show you how exactly. Isn't it funny that all wireless devices are coming with charging cables? More than this, with diverse end types. So how to sort it out the cable spaghetti? In first place, check it out, maybe you already have the same type of charger, so purge the multiples. Or get the charging station. Or a designated box with designated compartments. For this charger box, I printed the table on a single sheet of paper with the names of the devices and placed not glued underneath the DIY cell cardboard dividers. If you are like me, you like to keep grab-and-go items in one place, at easy reach, not somewhere behind the door or under the lid. Quite tiny box without lid, but with a handle, confines our various notebooks or other frequently used things, and it's easily moved around the house if needed. And also can hide few sockets behind its back. The same things scattered all over the places, via scurled together, can send a different message. For organizing small items, like for instance remotes or coasters on coffee table, I'm using the trays. The number of the items on the table remains the same, but gathered together on the tray, they make the place to look polished and tidy. My tip! The round tray remains always straight. Life happens, and we are not in the army, but collecting forgotten shoes, why they are always resting under the table, or straighten up throws and pillows significantly reduces visual clutter in no time. Just half of one song, and it's done. If you sometimes also washing dishes by hand, you would like to have the utensils and dishwasher soap nearby and not hidden somewhere where you have to open with wet or greasy hands. But no matter what, those things are seldom looking appealing. Putting them together into ceramic jar already fixes their parents. But placing the jar on the tray along with some plant it maybe not converts it into the decoration, but definitely it makes clutter free. Try to keep an even number of items or item groups on the trays, but not more than seven, otherwise the eye tends to pair them. Put away the practical things directly after using. Leave the decorative ones. By the way, what are your tips for reducing visual clutter? Please leave me a comment down below. Time for a coffee? Of course, it is possible to hide all those things behind the doors. Then for the cup of coffee to open the door, open the jar, open the drawer with pad holders, or create a clutter-free coffee station. The repurposed gift basket is big enough to keep all together, like glass jars storing the coffee pads and sugar, which is just a decoration in our case, but a couple of times it saved also some baking project. <laughs> the logic behind the cutting boards in the coffee station is simple. They are creating some wall which is giving a balance to the tall jars. 
but for this purpose can be used any other thing that works better for you. And I'm also using them several times a day at a distance of one meter. If you haven't a room in the wardrobe, you may also want to get a basket for store the woolly blankets during the day if they are too much. Even better if it fits behind the door. Somewhere I read that the laundry is the only thing which will never leave you. No matter whether you have a designated laundry room or not, you likely own a collection of various detergents for different fabrics. For a tidy look, it's easiest to hide them behind the cabinet door if you have cabinets, or if you haven't, to get the containers for different purposes. For instance, in the shallow box, I'm gathering the things designated to drying. Into the basket go all the tall things mean to washing and tend to get spilled like liquid detergents or opened powder stain remover. That way, instead of tens of different bites and pieces, there are only five to six, which is normal in the pantry. The same goes for the bathroom. Towels look organized when placed into the basket, New or opened refill bottles, too bulky for the drawers and, for instance, worn but still clean pajamas, over the day I'm separately placing into plastic containers. And then even into a bigger basket, that way reducing the number of visible items. I admit that kitchen utensils don't necessarily need to be on show, but a few of them are too bulky for shelf drawers. Therefore, I place them into containers and curled on the plate, where they are giving the place an organized look. In our home, they are also concealing the cord of the lamp, which we are keeping on the countertop. Not yet the jingle bells time, but it's approaching. And here is some idea how to avoid the visual clutter when decorating. Always remember, less is more. You're not here to keep me warm on Christmas Eve. Quick reset. Christmas decor on the plate looks way better. For wrap it all, here are my three tips. Give the things a home and after using put them back immediately. It takes the same time and energy to put it into the right place like into the wrong one. Group the similar things together. Use the baskets, boxes or the trays curling them. If some decluttering task takes just two minutes, do it immediately. If you like this content, please give me the thumbs up and share with those to who it might be useful. Also consider subscribing so you won't miss my next video. Greetings from Luxembourg and thanks for watching. Eddie.